Hey guys, how's it going? So, as you can see, there are a few after pictures of the um, frame for the surface grinder. And uh, these are still in the um, rough, uh, rough stage. They're not finished yet, but um, they will be quite soon. Now, in the last episode, or video, I finished up uh, welding one of the uh, rail uh, mounting surfaces in and the rail mounting surface is made from uh, construction grade steel and is um, uh, 60 millimeters wide and 15 millimeters thick and roughly 625 millimeters uh, long and um, um, the idea is that once they've gone through the heat heat treatment, sorry, the the um, uh, stress relieving process. Um, after that, they're gonna go on to a uh, machine. We're gonna machine them, and after that, I'm gonna I can start building the the machine itself, and. The idea is that um, the the rails that are going to mount on it are going to be uh, uh, high wind HGR 15 uh, rails. They're going to be quite strong. They have a very high load capacity and stiffness as well. And this will basically keep the saddle from uh, from moving too much. And I'm just putting in, in a few tack welds to hold the, the, the thing uh, together and after I'm finished with the tack welds I'm gonna put in some uh, nice long beads to keep everything uh, to keep everything in place now the one good thing with these types of uh, with this type of welding uh, well, with, sorry with welding this type of uh, uh, material is that it's uh, so heavy <laughs> that it won't really pull uh, one way or the other way uh, while you're welding it and uh, that really helps to to keep the the frame from uh, from distorting it did distort eventually just a little bit so it's not ideal but I was actually very surprised uh, at the uh, that the frame didn't really move uh, anymore compared to how much it moved initially. So if it, if it had any bow in it initially after I just welded up the four tubes, it technically held the, 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 same, the same kind of uh, inaccuracy, I guess, the whole way through. And that really shows that even if I wouldn't go through with the, with the stress relieving, which, which I will, which I will, um, it would probably not be the end of the world because if I take only a millimeter or two off from the from the rail mounting surfaces, it's not going to twist or or bend the frame uh, because the whole structure is so strong that. The internal stresses are smaller than uh, the, than the the forces needed to to bend or twist the, the the frame. And here, of course, I'm forgetting to put the clamp on. Where am I? Oh yeah, it's just sitting there on the left side against the the table. But surprisingly, it still worked. So that's good. And. Um, I'm gonna stop rambling now, and I'm just gonna let you watch. All right. And the third episode is probably coming next week, not this week. So enjoy the video and let me know what you think. All right, thank you for watching. Have a nice day.